And as he hops, these are the important part, Mildred. Too many of these and it's bitter. <coughs> yes, and cleanliness too, that's very important. Everything that touches this beer has been sterilised. Oh, that's interesting. When were you done? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I mean the equipment. I mean, you, you take this, for instance, this strainer. Chip basket. What? Yeah, right. Well, it's been boiled three times, see? And so is this fermentation vessel. Bucket. Pardon? It's a bucket, George. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. You know, I'll tell you what, you, you hold this strainer... You hold this over that. <sighs> And that looks to me like a baby's nappy liner. Yeah, well, it is. Oh, sure. Oh, it's, it's all right. It's new. It's never been used. I mean, they're the best thing for when you're straining, nappy liners. <laughs> There's a joke there somewhere. Yeah, I know. Don't look for it, love. Yeah. But when are we going to taste some of this beer? Well, the uh, batch I made two weeks ago, that should be ready. Oh, well, that's probably why all the bottles keep exploding. Yeah, OK, go hold it steady. Oh, why did you take up all this nonsense, George? Well, every man needs a hobby, Mildred. Take him out of himself, you know, fulfil his creative urge. Besides, they put a penny on a pint at the British Legion. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Ah, yeah. uh, it's that bar chairman's fault. I told him. I said, money-grabbing little type, I said. Probably pocketing half of the profits, I said. What did he say? He wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, come on. Let's have a look. There you go. Yeah, I think it needs a second straining. Have we got a clean sock somewhere? <laughs> What would you do if your vehicle broke down on a railway level crossing? Um, no, I'd do. Well, don't we all? But that's not what it's got down here. Uh, I'd get the passengers out, right. uh, then I'd find the signal box, and then I'd try to get the car clear of the lines. Correct. Now, do you want to double your money? And I mean that most sincerely. <laughs> right. Where should you not park your car? Ooh. Um, on a junction or bend, mm. Brower Hill, mm. Humpback Bridge, mm. uh, outside Tesco's? Yes. <laughs> On top of another car? <laughs> in a bus? Bus? Lane? Correct, correct. Or on a footpath, double yellow lines, or on a motorway. Ooh. Where can you park? Well, nowhere, you see. Watch this past the test. She's got to carry on driving round and round and round, ever decreasing circles, so she finally disappears up her own exhaust pipe. <laughs> see, it's a new scheme to cut down on traffic. Yeah, I'll never learn this, not in ten days. Of course you will. You're making fantastic progress. Do you know, she actually overtook a car yesterday. I've been doing that for weeks. Not with your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, does she still pull out the chunk knob, turn your handbag on? Right. <laughs> at least at the end of it, I'll be able to drive the car. All you can drive is other people, up the wall. <laughs> oh, you know, you shouldn't take the mickey out of her. Why not? Well, we can't have both of us doing it. <laughs> all right, come on. Let's do a bit of practice. Oh, don't sit there all niggly. Listen, your mouth will get stuck like that one of these days. It really will. Now, come on. Let's practice some throttling. Oh, don't tempt me. <laughs> Beans, the clutch, tuna fish, brake, and the throttle. Right, come on. Oh, I'm not in the mood. Listen, you'll get rusty. I mean, it's like everything else. If you don't practice it, you forget how. Why do you always have to bring sex into everything? <laughs> sex, sex, what's that? Sex? Oh, I see what you mean. Right. Right. No comical remarks, all right? OK, right. <sighs> clunk, click, every trip. <laughs> Come on, clunk, click. Yeah, all right. Clunk, click. <sighs> clunk, click. Right, very good. Right, now, we are parked at the roadside and we are ready to go. So it's ignition on. Left foot on beans. Forgot your gear stick. Oh, it's... <laughs> Gears, right? <clears throat> now, gently depress beans <laughs> into first, handbrake off, left foot up and right foot on the chunky chicken. <laughs> no, the chunky chicken. Oh, all right, all right. Right, right, now we're going along and it's into second. Beans, beans, beans. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, we're going along, right? And I'm the examiner, right? Mm -hmm. Give us a kiss and I'll pass you. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please yourself, right. Now, we're going to overtake that four-litre drophead coffee table. Oh, he lives in a little world of his own. Ignore that lady at the bus stop. Right, so it's... <laughs> Indicator, hands out, beans, change down, mirror, chunky chicken into third... Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, I mean, where was your hand signal? I'll give you a hand signal in a minute. Naughty. 
Now, it needs a bit of yeast. That should do nicely. Yeah. And a drop of malt extract. Don't forget the eye of newt and tongue of bat. <laughs> you reckon I'm going to fail at this, don't you? Well, you fail at most things, George. <laughs> I mean, like that time you re enamelled the bath. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you might have warned me before I climbed in. You should have seen your face when you stuck to the bottom. <laughs> it took me a whole week to get it off. Yeah, well, I told you at the time, you should have used wire wool. <laughs> oh, no, this is different. Ah, yeah, you see. Ah, in a couple of weeks' time, that's going to be a sparkling drop of bitter. Like this stuff over here. Uh, get the glasses out. Now then, I'll tell you, once and for all. No way. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, George. That's very lively, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, I expected that. Oh, of course you did, George. That's yeah. a touch of secondary fermentation. Yes, George. <laughs> right, pour it out. Let's have a look at it. Right, now, don't forget to be first brew. Might have been too much sugar. <laughs> or too much yeast, or not enough malt, or... Yes, or you might have made a right cock up of it. Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, that looks all right. This looks in it. Smells... Yeah, well, tell us what you think. No, thank you. Look, there are things swimming around in it. They're hops. All right, they're often around in it. I'm not joking. I suppose it is all right. George, I've no idea. I mean, as far as I know, you could drink that down, slink under that table and come up, all claws, teeth and fangs. Mm. Well, anyway, somebody's got to try it, haven't they? Here it goes. Oh, uh, George. Where did you keep the uh, insurance books? Uh, don't start there. <laughs> George, there are airs growing up the back of your hand. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Eh? It tastes sort of um, nutty. Well, it would do. Look who made it. <laughs> it's very good. Here, have a drop. George, if you are still on your feet in 24 hours, I'll think about it. Excuse me. Oh, here you Come in, son. Get... Sit down. <clears throat> Thanks. Have a glass of beer. Oh, thank you. Actually, I just popped down to see if I could borrow the car again, just for an hour this time. Yeah, certainly. Well, hey, look at the head on that. <laughs> yeah, that looks... that looks very nice. Yeah, and it's only tuppence a pint. I'll see what... I... No, not to you, to me. Here, he made it himself, love. You what? Yes. Oh, well, hey, that's, that's very good, isn't it? Look, crystal clear. I strained it through a pair of Mildred's tights. <laughs> They, um, they were new ones, love. Don't worry. Actually, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Mm. Mm. It was just after an air raid, see? And I was pumping away at my stirrup pump in Oxford Street, and all these big knobs came up, you know, to investigate the damage. Brigadiers, all that sort of thing. And they stopped right by me, you see, and there, in the middle, was Winnie. Oh, is that the woman you met in the Land Army? Yeah. No, 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 no. Winnie. Winston Churchill. Oh. Yeah, he, he stopped to look at me, you see, and he, he came up to me and I... I'll never forget what he said. What? Well, he stood there, you see, with his jaw jutting out and his shoulders all squared, and he said, The drains have gone, then, he said. <laughs> the drains have gone. I'll never forget that as long as I live. No, well, you wouldn't really, would you? No. <laughs> and shortly after that, they started the second front. You think the two are connected? <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't say that, but it makes you think, though, doesn't oh, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, George, Mafeking has been relieved. In the young people want to go for a driving lesson. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, there's the keys to the car, son. Right. Hey, do you want a glass of beer? Oh, no, thanks. Not when I'm driving. Oh, you don't want to worry about that. If they stop you, stick a quid in the uh, driving licence before you pass it over. Never fails. There's a little tip there, son. Yeah, I remember that. You ready? Am I ready? Oh, all, right, all, right, all, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, he's a nice lad, that. Goes on a bit. <laughs> Are you all right, George? Eh? Hey, yeah, of course I'm all right. Oh, it's strong stuff, this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you fancy an early night tonight, then, Mildred? <laughs> no, that's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> right, now. Hello? Oh. Sorry. It's all right. You just forgot the clutch. Uh, clutch, clutch. Beans, beans. Uh, beans. Right. Look, mistakes can happen. Yes, I know, but you don't have to give it so much help. Now, look, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll try reversing around a corner, all right? 
Reverse. Reverse, right. right. Reverse. And, and listen, that is a corner there. I know it's a corner. Right. Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy. It might help if you take the handbrake off. Oh, shut up. Arthur. Beautifully done. Right over his bike. <laughs> Come on. You've broken the lamp. I just put a new bulb in there. Will it look at we'll if there's any damages? Look, it wasn't all our fault, you know. You came straight out of your front garden. No signal or anything. You don't have to signal when you're coming out of your own garden gate. That is true. Oh. Well, I better move it forward. No, no, no. Uh, uh, leave it at me. I'll do it. Evening. Everything all right, miss? Oh, yes, thank you. No, it isn't. Look at my bike. <laughs> Can I see your driving licence, sir? Oh, yes. Oh, the frame, it's buckled. Oh, the wheels. Oh, never mind, the bulb still works. Yeah. You? There's a pound note in here, sir. Is that? Is that? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, no, uh, you see, I always keep a couple of spare quid. I don't have a, a wallet, you see. Um, thank you. It's lucky you're uh, honest. I mean, you know, somebody might think you're on the, uh, you know. <laughs> it's not him. She's the one who. Just a it. moment. I have reason to believe you've been drinking, sir. And I require you to take a breath test. <laughs> you ever had a breath test before, sir? No. Nice deep breath and then blow into the barrel. Keep blowing, sir. Don't breathe in. <laughs> That's the way. One long blow. A little bit more, a little bit more. That's it, that's it. Ha! Good man! <laughs> ah. Same as the first. Over. Oh, well over. Still, we haven't got it yet. You haven't? No. Now, I shall need a sample from you. <laughs> Can you fill this? Well, not from here, no. In there. Actually, you know, I I've just been. Then you'll have to go again. I don't think I've got any left. Well, we can always take a blood sample. I assume you've got some of that left. Well, I'll see what <laughs> I can manage. Uh, what does he do now? I beg your pardon, Miss. I mean, what happens to him, assuming he's over the level? Oh, we will get a summons, you see. Uh, mm. Excuse me, excuse me. I don't suppose you've got a tap anywhere you could turn. It might sort of help me to sort of get a going. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. But, uh, look, sometimes it helps if you whistle. Fine. Any, uh, any particular... A summons, you see, you get that to appear at the local magistrate's court. Probably sometime... Sometime about the end of next week, you see. That is assuming... As you say, that uh, the tests show that your friend has over the legal limit. Uh, In excuse me. Have you got another bottle? <laughs> Have you filled that one? Uh, no, I haven't. I've, I've dropped it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I could fight the summons. I mean, I could plead not guilty, argue the case, get the backing of the AA, the REC, Shaw Taylor. <laughs> well, well, that is the weak point of my argument, yeah. Well, perhaps you could plead guilty, but not much. <laughs> My Uncle Albert did. What was he up for? Oh, interfering with a duck on a public highway. <laughs> well, there is a lot of it about, isn't there? Yeah. He was reminded 
enough for medical reports. <laughs> Uncle Albert, not the duck. It's a funny lot, your family, aren't you? Mm. I'm the only normal one. <laughs> I mean, it's as if I didn't do anything. Well, neither did he. Ducks can move very quickly when they want to. <laughs> I mean, I didn't drive very far. The yard, something like that. I mean, I doubt whether the wheels turned a full circle. And pow! What time are you doing court? Uh, 12 o'clock. Oh, high noon. <laughs> Thank you very much. Honestly, just one stupid little mistake and I'm suspended. They have you. I wouldn't mind if they did that, as long as they didn't take my driving licence away from me. Are you coming to work? No, day off. It's my driving test. Oh, God, I forgot. Well, now I'm really going to be late. Well, only about ten minutes. Yeah, but it's better if there's two of us, cos it's only five minutes each. Oh, dear. Listen, I'll see you in court. Right. Yeah. Oh, best of luck. Thanks. Thanks. Morning. Oh, morning. I was just about to knock the door. Oh, you don't have to now, cos it's open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, morning, son. Morning. Hey, what time are you for the chop, then? <laughs> I'm appearing in court at 12, if that's what you mean. Ah, good, cos... Uh, <laughs> I've got a couple of little tips for you. Hey, your little tips aren't much use, are they? Put a pound in your driving licence. Oh, yeah, well, I admit I slipped up there. I mean, I didn't allow for inflation. Should have been a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> now then, any, any chance of a cup of coffee? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, good. I had to get rid of her in that subtle manner. Because <laughs> I wanted to ask you, are you by any chance a buffalo? I don't think so. That's a pity, you see, because most of the magistrates are then you could have given the buffalo sign for help and assistance. <laughs> He'd have probably got off scot free. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if he wasn't a buffalo, he'd most probably sling me inside for doing that to him, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, there is that, I suppose. Coffee? Uh, no, thanks. I prefer tea in the morning. <laughs> There's uh, just one other thing. Uh, you are going to wear a suit, aren't you? No, no, I thought I'd go stark naked. I mean, that's how we Freemasons recognise each other. <laughs> George, your bacon and eggs are ready, love. Hey, I was just coming down, Mildred. There, nice and crispy, the way you like. <laughs> I um, don't suppose you fancy a glass of your beer with it, do you? <laughs> Not for breakfast, Mildred. Oh, blimey, you got me drinking this stuff all hours of the day. <laughs> it's just a thought. Oh, uh, what time is it? Twelve o'clock. Oh, lovely. I'll see you there, then. Give me a chance to wear my new hat. Thank you. Did you get the chocolates? Yes, of course I did. Chocolates? No one's taking this seriously. <laughs> Mrs MacDonald. Just like being brought up in front of the headmaster at school. Yeah, but I mean, the worst he could give you was six strokes. This guy could give you six months. I did know that. <sighs> Careful, you wet yourself. <laughs> what do you think he's here for? God knows. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Mind you, they do a lot of good as well. Do you know I shouldn't be here? I mean, I'm innocent. Well, you did do it. Well, just because I did it doesn't mean to sound guilty. I mean, it was just that ratty little policeman, honestly. The power, you see, they love the power. They're all megalomaniacs. They put on one little ratty little fuzzy little beauty. <laughs> Mind you, they, they do a lot of good as well. <laughs> Afternoon. <laughs> 23 tins of baked beans concealed about your person. Not to mention five packets of cornflakes to a total value in excess of five pounds. Shocking. Shocking. There are far too many cases of shoplifting coming up before this bench. However, in your case, we may be able to be lenient with you. We must come here more often. It's better than the telly. <laughs> yes, yes. Three months without the option. Stay down. Next case. Be another half hour yet, son. They always run late. Have a sweet. So condemned man at a hearty toffee. <laughs> you know, I always get a bit of uh, stage flight right about this time. <laughs> oh. Listen, I'd better go into the gallery. 
Best of luck. I hope the pee falls out of your whistle. <laughs> She's a bit of all right, that one, isn't she? <laughs> Listen, don't you feel any sort of... sort of guilt? What for? Oh, you're the one who should feel guilty, aren't you? I mean, you was the one running around with your trousers down, singing all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> No, that was him, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, mind you, they do a lot of good as well. Yeah. No, no, you were the breathalyzer, weren't you? Right. Yes, I'm glad I got that straight. <laughs> Mr. Tripp? Yeah. If you please, sir. Uh, now, I've got one of yours, Bert. That's right. You're in good hands here, sir. There he is. Uh, <laughs> I know him. So do I. It's his bicycle we ran over. Oh. Robin Oswald Tripp. I kept that quiet. <clears throat> Don't blame him. You are charged with driving a vehicle whilst having more than the permitted amount of alcohol in your bloodstream, contrary to the Road Safety Act of 1967. <laughs> How do you plead to this charge? <laughs> Oh, I've, got a, I've got a coffee. <laughs> Problem. Guilty. Thank you. May I have your driving license, please? It's as quick as that, is it? <laughs> Not quite, Mr. Tripp. The constable? Sir, on the 18th of this month, I was on patrol duty in the Kensington area. At 7.15pm, I observed the defendant arguing with another man. Do you want any soft centres? I don't like them. <laughs> you okay? the defendant was observed He's very good, isn't he, that policeman? And very away. realistic. In doing so, he Well, you know what I mean. They aren't all, are they? There was a bloke on crossroads last week. <laughs> and I asked him to take a breathalyzer. Wherein he replied, All things bright and beautiful... <laughs> <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. No, uh, whereupon he replied, Oh, bloody hell, I have only had a pint of homemade Nats water. <laughs> the test having proved positive, sir, I asked him yes, to accompany yes, me yes, to... Yes, yes, I, I have the rest in front of me. Thank you. Mr. Tripp, you've heard the constable's account of the incident. Do you wish to ask him any questions? Me? Oh, yes. <clears throat> I'd like you to cast your mind back to the 18th. Without where... the Perry Masonisms, if you can. <laughs> Did the wheels go all the way round? Hey? On the car. This could be a very important legal point, Your Honour. You see, in football, if the ball doesn't go all the way out of the line, it's still in play. Football? Exactly. I mean, I don't know if you saw the European Cup match between Leeds and Inter Milan. Yeah, Mr Tripp... He's come out to half-time, Bremen had the ball, he flinged it out to the wing... Mr Tripp! Yes? This is hardly relevant, unless you were playing football in your car at the time. No, no, I wasn't, no. I'm glad to hear it. It's just I thought, you see, if the wheels hadn't turned a full circle... Yes, yes, I follow your reasoning. But the FA rules do not apply in this courtroom. <laughs> so, in that respect, I'm afraid you're offside. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you have any more foolish questions? No. Anything known? Nothing known, sir. Mm. You realise, of course, that this offence carries a compulsory disqualification. Why are you playing football in the car? No, he lives in a world of his own. <laughs> Licence endorsed, disqualified from driving for 12 months. Thank you. Plus a fine of £25. Stand out. Excuse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you touch lucky there. I think you're right. <laughs> that could well have been 50. What, years? Pounds. I wouldn't mind the 25 pounds. Not one word of thanks for the 20,000 miles I've driven stone cold sober. You are very lucky I didn't mention your attempted bribery. The oldest trick in the book. He put 
A pound note in his driving licence. Oh, disgraceful. <laughs> Never mind, Oswald. Oswald. Do you realise that makes your initials spell rot? <laughs> Never mind about that. Listen, what time's your driving test? Oh, uh, half past one. All right, well, I'll drive you to... Ah, oh, never mind, love. Georgia driver down. <laughs> Won't you, chitty face? <laughs> Do that. of the people pass that test first time. That means 50% fail. That is another way of looking at it. <laughs> uh, tell you what, I'll give you a little tip. Oh, well, perhaps not. Oh, that looks like an examiner. Straight ahead and left at the lights, please. Right. Ignition. Right. Um, tuna fish. Tuna fish. <laughs> uh, now, uh, into gear. Uh, tuna fish. Uh, be beans and down. Beans. Um, no, 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 you're absolutely right. Uh, chunky chicken. 